Now, Sariputta's insights into states one by one as they occurred was this. Here, monks, quite secluded from sensual pleasures. How do you become secluded from sensual pleasures? I expect answers. Well, the sensual pleasure of seeing is not there then. But it's also sounds. If any sounds arise, if your mind gets pulled to it, six are it, don't pay attention to what the sound is. It doesn't matter. I've had some students, well, I was at a retreat in Santa Fe, New Mexico and it was hot. It was like 95, something like that. And everybody was practicing one-pointed concentration and they complained about the sound of the fan. It was not air conditioned in there. And they wanted to turn the fan off and I rather strenuously said no. But they would complain if somebody made too much noise walking or if somebody in the same building but a long ways away they closed their door a little bit too fast. Any kind of noise when you're practicing one point of concentration makes you uh, get startled. And the reason that that happens is because your concentration is too deep and your mindfulness is too shallow. When they're in balance, any sound that happens will just go right through you. It's nothing. But there are people that would complain about the clock ticking because the noise has to be quiet. Well, it, all they're saying to me is your mindfulness is out the window. It's not, it's not very good. You're not in balance with your practice. So, when a sound arises, if your mind goes to it, 6R, come back smiling, Relax. Now you'd, you're not going to have much with smell or taste in in here anyway. But there can be some things that happen to your body. You can have insect walking on it. You start to get pains and that sort of thing. If it pulls your attention to it, let it be, relax, smile, come back. This also has to do with thoughts. So being secluded from sensual pleasures means not indulging in any of the sense doors. Noticing that your mind has gone to it, let it be, relax, smile, come back. <coughs> Secluded from unwholesome states, what does that mean? The hindrances, that's right. When you're in the jhana, you're, you don't have any hindrances. When you have your mindfulness slip for whatever reason, then a hindrance will arise. And then you have to work with that like I told you yesterday.